So we're gonna go up to Walmart and I'm gonna show you a big bag of flour and how cheap this can be done. And then we're gonna come back and have a little pizza party. The exact recipe is down in the description and I'm keeping it real basic. You don't even need a recipe for this. I'm just gonna give you the, the exact ingredients so it'll come out perfect for you. Get you a big chunky bag like this. 25 pounds. You can cook an amazing amount of pizza and breadsticks and cheese bread with that. One. And a half. Cups water. Vegetable oil. You can use olive oil, more expensive stuff if you want. Quarter cup of that oil. And a loud dog. Your trusty spoon. You can put salt and sugar in here too. And you can put really whatever you want in here. Oregano or parsley or garlic or, you know. A little salt and sugar is not going to hurt. I'm not going to put anything in it. I'm just going to keep it real basic. It may not look like it's right, but if you put it in close to those amounts of those ingredients, it'll be about perfect. Now the fun part. Now it'll start looking like something. See how that's working? You should have enough for two pizzas right here. If you want to make more, just double the recipe. You can put yeast in it too if you want. I'm not going to because I'm just going to throw this in the oven right away. and It's not really all that important. But if you want your dough to get a little more fluffy and do some rising, you can put this, a packet or two of this, into your dough. Two pizzas. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be pretty. It's not going to taste any different. I'm going to go ahead and make mine round. That's the kind of screen Domino's and Papa John's and those places we'll be using. A lot of people might tell you to use a cooking stone, but I would just use a screen like this. If you don't have a screen like this, you can use a, a pan like that with some flour or oil. Or a pan like that. Or a pan like that. Or a pan like that. <laughs> If all you have is a baking pan like that, that'll work for you. If you don't have a screen like this and you're just using a normal pan, you want to put a little oil on it or some flour just so it doesn't stick to it. A screen like that though, that's just the real deal. You can't go wrong with that. Some sauce. You can go cheaper, you can go more expensive. Put about oh, that much on there, maybe. Less or more, if you like. Get you a big spoon. Go something like this. If you like extra sauce, you can put more on there. I think that's about what I want right there. Mozzarella cheese. I paid two dollars for eight ounces. You buy in bulk, it gets cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. Of course, we didn't put the whole jar of sauce on there, and we're not going to put the whole thing of cheese on there either. So that's not how much it costs. That's just how much I pay for the bag. Put as much as you like on there. That's the fun part about pizza. It's it's really hard to mess up. There really is no recipe. The only thing is just to to get the dough close to right. That's really the only ingredients you need to worry about. The rest you can just basically do what you want. <laughs> I put about a dollar's worth of cheese on there. You don't have to put that much on there. When it melts, it'll really spread out. And you can put any kind of cheese you want on there too. I wouldn't buy Velveeta. Velveeta's gross when it melts. I'm gonna go with a little onion, a little black olive, and a little mushroom. 
Oh no. <laughs> that actually proved my point. It is nearly impossible to mess up a pizza. Pretty much have to burn it. But you can make big chunky pieces, little pieces. Do whatever you want. You can put whatever you want on it too. I could put some sauerkraut on there. I could put some broccoli on there. I could put some corn on there. You may want to use dry mushrooms. Make sure you drain these kind of real good. As long as you put them on top of the cheese, they'll cook up nice. There it is. 14 inch pizza, I forgot to mention that. You can sneak all kinds of healthy things in here for your kids. A lot of times pizza is considered a junk food, but I have to really disagree. I think it's almost a health food. You can sneak all kinds of good stuff, healthy stuff in there. We've got plenty of stuff left for another pizza. Great value in doing it yourself. You can make a big batch of this dough up, cook one pizza right away, take the rest of the stuff you got left, and just wrap it up. I should use plastic wrap, but I don't have any at the moment. That's not that big of a deal. That's the thing with pizza. Nothing's really that big of a deal. Just get that dough fairly close to right. That's the only thing that really matters, and then don't burn it. Unwrap this dough up like this. I just put it in the fridge and it'll stay good for a long time. And if it dries out a little bit, what you do is you just take some water and just rub some water on it or spray some water on it. But just rubbing a little water on a dry dough ball just, just perks it right back up. If you were to just put the dough in here and put like a paper towel over it, it'll stay good like that too in the fridge for a real long time. It'll dry out a little more. A big bowl like that is always handy for making your dough and then when it's all done everything just goes right in here it's just, it's just a done deal right to the sink the oven's set at 425 degrees I'm wearing my chest harness for the first time so I'm getting a good shot of that we'll call it 12 minutes in a pre-warmed oven number one way to mess up a pizza don't burn it you might want to get a trusty paddle they always come in handy. There's something to do the job anyway. They make the pizza life a lot easier. There's what it's looking like at 12 minutes. Oh, that just smells awesome. <sighs> Put that guy back in there for another five minutes or so. At this point, your entire apartment or house will just be smelling like a just a beautiful pizzeria. Just let me let me see if you can hear this or not. You know what that sound is? That's awesome deliciousness. If this is something you want to get into, you'll want to have a decent little pizza cutter. This is all stainless steel. Hold up for a real long time. Doing it with no yeast will produce a nice crisp crust. You put that yeast in the dough and let it sit for a while. It will make it fluff and expand. It's oil, water, and flour to make the dough. And after that, you just do whatever you want. A decent sauce is going to help. But, I mean, you just do whatever you want. There, there really is no recipe. And it's just, I mean, watch this. Just look at that. Look at that. It's just, I mean, mmm. <laughs> it's steaming hot, so let's see. Oh, yeah. That crisp, that crust is flaky and crisp. It's actually extremely good. And that's the thing is, a little too much water, not enough water, too much oil, not enough oil, it's going to produce a different crust. And you can just, I mean, just end up doing whatever you want, you know, the way you like it. It's just, I mean, mm. oh, you know what? 
That, that actually is quite delicious. That's a very good one there. <laughs> I'm going to go eat now. Thanks for watching.